Hello everyone, Sigler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I wanted to talk about my experience with the release so far of Phase 2 Season of Discovery. Um, uh, obviously I'm level 40, have done the world first, have base, everything. Mm, not really. <laughs> no, I, uh, I'm actually only... I'm only level 30 so far. I've been slacking off with the leveling, but I'm gonna explain why. Um, it's not like I've made a, a huge amount of gold, but I was like one of the first ones to actually like craft some stuff. And uh, like, uh, I, I, maybe I wasn't like server first or anything, but I, I think it was like, less than like an hour in I I, I had uh, maxed maybe like one or two hours in I had maxed my uh, my tailoring and cooking so yeah I just wanted to show you a graph which is kind of fun so slash TSM so this is uh, a like a week so you can see the date it's the fourth and if you go over here it's the uh, it's the eighth so this is during the day and then we go to pm so i'm started to sell off a few of my investments here during the day so it went up a little bit and here's when it, uh, the release was um around my time it was a little bit later so yeah about around three hours but here you can see it tanks in price well my total gold because i had actually like the cost to learn everything and skills costs uh, quite a significant amount and i had already had my like investments ready to skill everything and then we go down here and yeah, I pretty much, uh, this part is when I did buy all the skills and everything for the crafts. Then uh, during these hours, I was just crafting. And you can see, I started to put out a little bit. And yeah, like, I, I think this part was like, I, I think I ended, ended my, yeah, like around this part, like it was like five hours that where I was just straight out crafting, nothing else, and and then I went to bed. Uh, well, around here I was up way too late for me, but I posted everything, and then like during the day, uh, well, this. Wait a minute, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I posted some and yeah, I didn't want to empty my bag instantly. So, and then I uh, went away during the day and came back and it's I started to like boom all the way up here and then again. And here I learned a little bit more on the blacksmithing part as well. So this part was both the like blacksmithing and some of the tailoring and cooking and everything. And this is when I'm like starting to sell off some of my stuff. And if we go to here, we can see the revenue. Uh, we have the past three days only in the auctions. So, so far in total is 334 gold. And I've sold over 1,149 items so far so far and the most expensive one was like the massive iron one which i'm still selling for that amount because not many people had the recipe or making them and like crimson shoulders for six gold a few of those and i mean right now it's down to it tanked more than four and a half gold already and uh, yeah this was uh, the first one I could have posted it a bit higher, but as you can see, like it, it's not that much. 
but it did pile up quite significantly. So yeah, I, I just wanted to show my what I've done and everything. Uh, it, it it's not not it's not like oh he's a he's making so much gold. It's like no, maybe not, but it's decent for me, and it's not like I want like a hundred thousand gold. Like I I don't really need that much. I just need enough to come by and yeah to do what the, the stuff I want to do. But yeah, that's just a little quick update on my, uh, well, the, the launch pretty much. So, so like at the actual launch, I did go, did uh, turn in some of my, I didn't have that many pre-quests, but I did, I did a few and did a few quests just to get to like level 26 as fast as possible, just to learn the skills because I was like, I, pe some people are gonna want to buy the stuff and I sold a few of them but I mean there's so many items that has tanked already that is it's kind of kind of crazy so let's for example go with uh, which one should we take uh, well let's take this one actually so for example there's only 10 of them I, I think oh yeah one is mine I need to make some more of these. It's only five gold to craft and three gold profit because the massive iron axe is part of the wildlife supplies. And it is, I think it is a massive iron axe. Yeah, it's a pattern. So it's not that cheap, uh, not that expensive. But there's a load of items that you need. Like you, you can see down there is iron bar, strong flux from vendor heavy grinding stone which is, is super expensive on on this server for, for some reason gold bar and heavy leather but yeah they sell because people are doing the waylight supplies and uh, correct me if i'm wrong but it looks like you can only turn in the waylight supplies craters if they're filled correct me if i'm wrong because i've gotten like some of the old one and try to f uh, turn them in but you can't turn them in for some reason correct me if i'm wrong but yeah but yeah like the uh, as you can see i've uh, maxed out my tailoring my blacksmithing is 216 uh, and slowly getting up there look selling spider sausages for one gold each that's awesome and then we got cooking which is maxed out and yeah uh, you can see over here this is also part of the whale I supply the rock scale cod and as you can see I I did buy 258 of them for for uh, uh, yeah I didn't do that much of a profit there, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I I don't why the hell did I do that? Why did I sell them for a loss? That's weird, huh? Well, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, I, and here you here you can see I have sold so many of the sage fish the light, and at the moment there is. There's actually zero raw greater uh, sage fish. So if you like fishing, like take notice if there is like missing some of the like fishing, the actual ingredient, because sometimes it can be worth to go fish it. And if there's nothing on the market, you can buy out the actual like, let's see how many, many it is. It's quite, it's quite a few. But I mean, imagine if you have all the gold and you just buy everything out and then post it at like 50 silver, uh, a uh, well, five gold a stack or whatever that is. I mean, people would buy it for the raid, most likely, but yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to show you a bit of my uh, progress so far. And yeah, just the, just the actual launch what I've sold and 
yeah and uh, yeah i hope to see you in the next video in the future which is gonna be my uh like what should i call it like a pretty glass cannon meta tank build which is gonna be insane i tried it and i don't even have any new runes uh, i'm gonna go and get two of the new runes and try this build out but i'm already gonna give a fair warning about that build you need to play with a group and a specifically a healer that can keep up because if you have a good healer there's no stopping and you're topping the meter pretty much like uh let me show i think this is the actual boss well so this is against an aoe mage and see the overall damage okay this is not accurate actually but let's look at the bosses i mean i'm i'm it's well okay maybe not topping the meter but like on aoe pulls like it, it's very good and you crit all the time so my plan with the with my talent build didn't work that great but i mean i haven't learned everything yet i i'm gonna go and learn hellfire now and try some stuff out but make sure to hit subscribe like the page uh, like the video and Type how your experience has been so far in Season of Discovery, and I'll see you in, in the next video. Pork pork!